great rising family, pray all is well, giving honor to the Most High Yah, praises and glory unto his holy name, honoring the Holy Spirit, which is wisdom. Happy Sabbath, family, Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> okay, family, so want to just touch bases on this pro-Israel group confirms at least two D.C. conference attendees from New York. New York um, tested positive for the coronavirus and what they're testing positive is for the APAC, which is at least two people who attended the American Israel Public Affairs Committee Policy Conference in Washington, D.C., have tested positive for the coronavirus. The pro-Israel group announced Friday evening. The individual are from New York, according to the tweet from the group. APAC previously announced that some attendees from New York were potentially exposed to the virus prior to the conference. So they're saying prior to the conference, but what they're um, saying um, others or other findings is as if they were a part of the conference, um, all of it. Um, it says which was attended by uh, Vice President Pence and many law aides. And um, it would be very odd that Trump would not have went. So I don't see any recordings that he went, but he'd been at others that I do recall. Then that would have put Ivanka and Jared, which I haven't seen them in a bit, would have put them there as well. So it says, we have continued to remain in constant communication with the Westchester County Health Department and the D.C. Health Department. So um, these are like what I shared earlier, um, speaking in reference to um, Israel, uh, actually, I want to say it's possibly could be over 100,000 people that they have quarantined coming back to Israel. Um, some that came from this conference, that's my understanding. Now, when you are uh, being put in the situation, you have been exposed, then you need to quarantine yourself. So everybody who went, which was, they said over 18,000, I heard it was 35,000 people they needed to be quarantined. This whole thing about the virus is not um, jumping from person to person unless you sneeze, unless you touch something, unless you cough. Family, that can be. All these people who are getting it cannot be around everybody who coughs. So everybody on the ship, 5,000 people on the ship or 3,000 people on the ship, and all those people that got it, is because they've been around somebody who at the same time who cough, who who or they touch something that someone else touch. Family, it's more deep than this. Um, the only way, you know, like I say, it's gonna be by the most high doing to deliver ones from this. That's that's the only way. Family, we must just not follow what the uh, president and all of them are speaking of, um, and even saying don't wear, you know, don't wear, um, you know, far as masks. And it's not because really that concerned about your health; they're concerned about running out of masks for people who need it. Far as ones who are being sick for real are ones who um, will, you know, be. A, a doctor or a nurse to those sick patients. So they're not telling you not to wear it because, you know, they're saying, oh, you protect it. It doesn't matter. You have to be around somebody. If you're walking, you don't have a mask. So, and I'm just speaking because, you know, of course, I'm not taking nothing away from the most high, but just putting this out there and saying for ones to be cautious. You're walking and you happen to be around someone who not showing any symptoms. So you saying, oh, I don't have it. But they have proven that when people in an incubated state, you can get it. 
So if they're not coughing and they're not sneezing, well, what, what is that really, what's really happening? Let's look at this thing logical. Okay. So again, like I say, um, the Israelis, uh, called, you know, um, this, that they're the chosen people. They, um, received the land uh, through the Balfour, um, you know, far as through Zionists and through certain uh, ones, um, Great Britain and uh, the war, um, <clears throat> so much how they obtained what they got, you know. So at the end of the day, they said that they're the true biblical people and let it be known, um, when we are gathered back, there's many scriptures to support, you know, that father will protect us, protect us, that we will be at rest. No one will be able to harm or, or hurt us. Okay. This thing about they over in the land could live any kind of way, right? Do anything they want to do. And they're just, you know, getting uh, the plagues or getting certain things happen to them because they not believing in Jesus or they are sinful. That's a lie. That That is a lie. There's no way possible. The father allowed wicked people to come on the land and be, you know, gay, homosexual when he had regathered us back. All this about 70, you know, um, years of being on the land and Trump granting all this, that's the man to me, if I am can call it the man of perdition of not, if not, he's near close to it. They want to give him the title of King Cyrus. To who? To, to, to his same people who benefiting? Family, this is all being put out on world stage. You should be able to see this for yourself. Let's see if we can um, play this right here that they're doing the arm, the elbow bump. But the truth is, is that they sneeze or cough, supposed to cough in their elbows. So hey, how is this going to work out for them? Like what I say, just nod. So her car got hit, she you ain't got to touch nobody. She filed a claim on her USAA and said that was just easy. nod at each other. USAA, what you're made of, we're made for. USAA. If the now dreaded handshake leaves you shaking your head, no! Our dogs and our politicians are elbowing their way in. From Senator Dick Durbin to the vice president, and not just once. And there you go. Jimmy Kimmel has a name for it. It's called the elbow. Something Jimmy practiced with his sidekick wearing a coffee filter mask. Even a floor broker known as the Einstein of Wall Street is doing it. But you know who's not doing it? Mm -hmm. President Trump shook ten hands on a single receiving line. You don't shake hands, they're not going to like you too much. He says he's not taking protective measures, though he must at least be doing what Stephen Colbert did. If you're not into sanitizing, jokey alternatives range from the booty bump like, <laughs> to the foot bump. To the Vulcan salute, even Germany's leader had her hand spurned. <laughs> and whatever you do, start working on not touching your face. Maybe you better start working <laughs> on it. And I haven't touched my face in weeks. I miss it. You know what else is catchy? That Jeremy Penn used to sign the oh. coronavirus spending bill. Oh, uh, here, Steve, this is for you. <laughs> Toss to an unsuspecting mm -hmm. reporter. There are even pizza do's and don'ts. Don't lick your fingers and then touch the coffee lid. Do do the elbow bump. 